Hello guys, welcome to another video and this one is the part 3 of our multi-grade teaching. I'm so thankful with your presence from the start, from the first part of the video. Video, thank you so much. And again, like I always say, please don't forget to subscribe and like, share our video and click the notification bell all for you to be updated for more videos. Okay. Okay, if you still remember the part 1, we discussed about the multi-grade teaching, description, and definition. And also about the, a short, a short um, uh, discussion about the curriculum. In part 2, we discussed about the challenges that the teacher may face or uh, problems no, na mas kakaharap ng isang multi-grade teacher. But for today's video, in this part 3, these are the the things that what does it make to make a successful multi-grade school one requirement for that is there must be or there should be an appropriate training and materials for both critical uh, for successful multi-grade teaching materials and resources for the need of the students and materials and trainings uh, for the teacher some uh, areas of change that uh, we need to build or to focus in order to build a successful multi-grade uh, teaching. One is that the teacher needs to develop a wide repertoire of teaching techniques and classroom management practices. Okay, bucket. No, we all know that when you are teaching uh, different grade levels, you really need to have more trainings in terms of different kinds, wide variety of strategies. Kasi nga, iba-iba yung level, iba-iba yung, yung skills na meron sila. At the same time, you need to have uh, trainings, seminars, and also practices. When we say practices na ganyan, you can uh, practices in terms of classroom management. So, kahit naman hindi multi-grade teacher eh, even in a normal or a regular class, you still need to focus on your management kasi doon, doon makikita na ganyan if you start to have uh, discipline inside the classroom then it will not be hard for you as a teacher to gain their trust and to gain to, to have their attention you know, para makapag-focus sila sa'yo as a teacher in terms of um, in terms of uh, techniques hindi lang sa trainings natin nakukuha yan, hindi lang sa seminars. We can also have, uh, we can also have uh, no, mentoring no, from the previous, um, let's say, may mga dati ng teachers in a multi-grade class, then you can ask there, you can, you can have an idea, you can get an idea from them. And another one, it requires materials and physical input of which program learning materials and textbook and textbooks are of greatest importance. Ibig sabihin, the choice of curriculum. It's very important. Um, when we say materials, and then natin your visual aids, your audio visuals, your multimedia, and of course, your textbooks. Your curriculum, your activities, your, um, ano pa ba? Uh, if you have uh, projects to use, um, ex experiment, experiments and research. So, dapat yon ay naka-program, naka-base ayon dun sa learning abilities ng mga bata, learning abilities ng mga students. Okay? Para hindi ka nahihirapan as a teacher na um, naka-focus ka lang dun sa curriculum mo. No? We, you want them to meet the standards of that curriculum in a certain level, but then hindi nila ma-meet. It's just because hindi akma doon sa kakayanan nila yung ginagamit mong textbook and materials. Another one, a multi-grade teachers require local and regional professional support network. They need also support networks. Ano yung mga support networks na to? Maybe from uh, professionals, when you say professionals, the administrators, or the supervisors, and even some of the local government units if they can help no, in terms of um, uh, assistant teachers or 
uh, assistant in the classroom para naman mas maging effective si teacher to focus doon sa pagtuturo niya, doon sa mga estudyante niya. Another and the last one is the national policies with regards to teacher and administrator's training or the this one is the teacher recruitment and support. Okay. Um, in a certain area kasi, uh, there is local and regional professional support networks na tinatawag na ito. May mga schools that, of course, if they don't have enough uh, teachers na nag-a-apply no, sa isang eskwelahan, especially sa mga probinsya o malayong lugar, so napipilitan nila kapag maraming enrollees, napipilitan na si teacher ipupunta sa isang classroom na nandun ang grade 5, ang grade 4, ang grade 6. But of course, in order to have an effective multi-grade school or multi-grade teacher, kailangan na maging sensitive din pagdating sa mga policies in terms of recruitment sa mga teachers. Uh, kaya ba niya na i-handle yung ganito grade level? Uh, how about the background? How about the experience? So, hindi ka magsasalpak doon na teacher na hindi niya bihasa or wala siyang kaalam-alam doon sa tinuturo niya o tuturuan niya. So, we need, uh, it needs to undergo uh, as administrator training and at the same time uh, yung mga materials na kailangan for the development no and be in of course to be sensitive enough no na we, we are recruiting teachers but make sure also na yung mga ibibigay na task sa kanila ay kakayanin Thank you so much for being here again. And this one is, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the part three of the multi-grade teaching. And I hope you guys learned something from this lesson. And I hope that you can you can still follow this channel. You will follow this channel. And always don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you very much and have a great day.